Hey, today we're going to do a quick unboxing video on a new five string tenor ukulele I've got in. So let's get to it. So I have started unboxing videos on a number of occasions. And I've never been happy with them, so I've never posted them on. So we'll see what happens with this one. And if you're watching this, it must have turned out okay. Okay, some of you have probably been following a thread on Ukulele Underground on this guy. Yeah. That is, uh, Quite the packaging job there. Uh, wow. <laughs> so you can see uh, builder David Hansen uh, out of Colorado has built a little um, crate around the box. Okay, well, and I'm not sure how to get this out. I think I'm gonna have to actually uh, unscrew this. So that's Here we go. Moment of truth. Here we go. So I present to you Caramel Lady. So we'll do a better job on them. Um, review and pictures and stuff later. Sounds good. Hey folks, today we're going to do a rundown of this new ukulele I got in this week. It's a custom five string tenor from builder David Hansen out of Colorado. His website is Cripple, Cripple Creek Mandolin, so I'll put a link down below so you can check that out. So just to do a quick rundown of where this instrument came from and talk about the woods and all. So um, back and sides, curly maple, koa binding, neck is Spanish cedar with a walnut stringer, koa on the headstock again, 
Goto UPTL tuners, rosewood fingerboard, <clears throat> side dots, and front dots are uh, an Apolloni shell, I believe. <clears throat> uh, fingerboard is radiused. Uh, rosette is maple and cherry. Rosewood bridge, string through. <clears throat> and there's a few more woods on the inside with bracings and linings and stuff. Ten woods overall. You can see they're all kind of different shades of um, some light brown tones. Uh, so David dubbed this the Caramel Lely. And I'm not usually one to name my ukes, but um, we'll make an exception here. So I'll present to you <laughs> Caramel Lely. Oh, top is a uh, Western Red Cedar. And we'll say one thing about the top, David um, emailed me right as he was about to ship and said he wasn't 100% happy with the top. There were some scratches already showing up and a few um, imperfections, you know, finish imperfections that didn't show up until he got under the finish and he was kind of apologetic and um, I think he's being way too hard on himself. You can see here, just looks absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, if I hold it three inches away and at an angle, I can see what he's talking about, but it's way too hard on himself. Um, just not a problem at all. Um, it is a cedar top, so it's going to get scratched up a little uh, quicker and easier than some things. Um, I'm not worried about that in the slides. <clears throat> um, all right, let's talk about the strings. So I definitely wanted... Um, equally spaced <clears throat> strings, so that's a little unusual um, in terms of five string tenders. Usually you have a doubled uh, low G and high G, and they're, it's really four courses, you play them together. But these are all equal spaced, so you can play them all independently. And thinking about um, tuning, we definitely wanted, or I definitely wanted, a uke plus one, not a guitar minus one, if that makes sense. So the tuning we came up with was to have a normal low G C E A on the top four, and in the bottom, instead of having a low D, which is what it would be on a, a galele or gitalele, instead of having a low D, we have a high D. So then that's reentrant. Okay. Um, the strings are a kind of semi-custom living water set. It's, it's really just the standard low G, um, all unwound fluorocarbon living water, GCA, and then a little bit thinner string for the high D uh, that um, is also used on a very tuned tenor set, DGBE. And I'll, I'll kind of come back to that later, <laughs> not today. Um, so very even response, they're very comfortable under the fingers, um, not very high tension. Uh, some people don't like an unwound low G, but I think it works really good here and we'll, we'll hear that in a second. Okay, um, I think that's it for the rundown. So, <clears throat> so what can I do with this? Well, um, you can play it. If you're thinking about guitar chords, you just leave off the, the bottom note. And the bottom string, and so you can play things like uh, your typical be a C chord here, yeah, F really on the ukulele. Uh, your typical C chord, and what you're getting there is you're getting some doubled notes. You get it like a nice chorusing effect here. So there you've got a double E, double F, double E again. Double D. So that's a little bit of your typical five string sound where you get kind of, um, you know, the doubled or um, octave notes like that, but which sounds good. Um, but that's not really where the, uh, where it shines. So <clears throat> what this tuning lets you do, and can, if you think about the uh, tuning low to high, you got G, C, D, E, and then A. So you've got that C, D, E real close together. And then what that lets you do is get a lot of nice um, tight voicings. So you end up 
when you're just playing around, you find a lot of um, sevenths, ninths, fourths. So um, just li listen to this. So um, two fingers. So what that is, is a B flat major nine with just two fingers. Isn't that nice? Uh, you can do lots of uh, like C2. get um, in the A family you get uh, like an AD suspension so you can get lots of um, A minor 11th I guess it would be um, and yeah I've just started exploring so you know that's really what I was hoping was was some of those really lush chords with not a lot of effort <laughs> Minor nine. So yeah, um, Um, so there you go, Caramelele. <laughs>